Yo, what is up guys? Before I say anything, I'm gonna go ahead and say this. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. But what about week five, man? Just a crazy atmosphere. But the one thing I will tell you is that there is competition now. So every win that you have to get, especially if you play any team, it does not matter. You have to earn it. But nonetheless, so I got some Chargers versus Baltimore Ravens gameplay out of my entire Madden content. I actually never matched up between these two teams. So it's a pretty interesting team matchup. But with that being said, man, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. And without further ado, Herbert, um, there's a hidden gem, a Gerald Everett. The tight end. I don't know, Charger fans. Let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions on him. Um, but he just became a baller in this one for sure. But, anyways, let's get it rolling. And once again, hope you guys enjoy. So right here we got the Ravens flock versus the Chargers boat. Let me have a little bit more clarity in what I said. It's now competition. None of these real NFL games are just given. We got the Jets that completely demolished my Dolphins. We got the Chargers. I mean, they put up a good fight against the Browns. Don't get me don't get me wrong, okay? I mean, every team has their points given. The only team that I would probably say that needs to work on some stuff and just overall in general as a team would have to be the Detroit Lions. I'm sorry, Lion fans. I love you guys. From the bottom of my heart to the eight mile of the Eminem, it's very unfortunate seeing that. But you know what? All these teams, they're just going crazy. I mean, uh, hopefully today's game, at the time of the uploading, and as I'm saying that, look at Lamar Jackson getting this ridiculous run. I hope that the Raiders could put a good game against the Kansas City Chiefs because I truly believe that the Raiders, as much as they've been struggling in the beginning of the few weeks, which honestly, the first weeks don't matter. And right here, the old line doesn't matter because Lamar Jackson ends up connecting with Bateman with the touchdown first blood already with the Baltimore Ravens. But like I'm saying about the Raiders, look, at the end of the day, no matter how bad Derek Carr plays, I still feel like there's enough opportunities for him to get something going with Devontae Adams. And right here, I don't get nothing going with Justin the Herbernator. And let me just go ahead and throw ahead my two cents about Tua and Justin Herbert. There's never been bad blood with me, okay? I've always thought that Justin Herbert, when he came out of Oregon, he was gonna be special, but I always wanted Tua. I mean, Tua, I just I fell in love with him. I mean, his play type, his person in general, just fell in love with him. So that's just my honest opinion about Herbert. I mean, I don't feel any bad blood. So Charger fans, congratulations on such a great player in Herbert. There's nothing but love right here. And let's go. We end up connecting with a first down. We needed that play because we're already down by two possessions. Mike Williams ends up making that amazing catch. But third and ten. We got to get some going. The Herbinator scanning the field in the hidden gym. Gerald Everett. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. I always say that, but I still feel like I'm pronouncing it wrong. Everett, man. He is a playmaker. I don't know in real life if he's balling out like that. But he's making amazing plays right here. Third and go though. Herbert snaps it and finds Keenan Allen. Let's go. Keenan Allen, such an underrated wide receiver. The only thing that's very unfortunate with Allen, I don't know, has he been healthy? I haven't seen him get as much as touches in real life. I still feel that Allen, well, he's falling down in that category because there's so many. Look, the thing about the NFL is you're either producing or you're next up. That's how I truly feel like it is. And that's why these contract extensions have been major, major alert bags. But right here, it's automatic for Justin Tucker. He ends up kicking it. And that is just bad defense on my part. Because at the end of the day, all we had to do was get a stop. Even just a simple tackle inbounds, but not giving a big yardage is very unfortunate. But right here, Herbert snaps it. We got to get some going. We're down by two possessions. And let's go, Mike Williams. Not the shiftiest player, but definitely the most athletic player when it comes to making those acrobatic catches for the Chargers. So we got to get some going on his drive. It's third quarter. Come on, Herbert. I love you, man. This is all, all I want is a good game. And right here, we end up getting something. And you guys guessed it. The hidden gem, Gerald Everett. Let's go. It's first and go. Two yards. Could we get this touchdown? We're not settling for no field goals. And boy, oh boy, today... It was just mind-blowing for me. I mean, as much as I was down because we got beat by the Jets, just incredible games. The Seahawks, again, that's just another great game. Geno Smith continuing to prove why he still may be a possible starter. But you guessed it, Everett, once again right here, ends up getting a touchdown. But Lamar Jackson, what's going on? 
Defense, come on, we gotta get a stop. Third down, all we have to do is stop him for the field goal. And wait just a minute now, I think that's Asante Samuel Jr., his son. He ends up getting mossed by Bateman, and Bateman becoming that really fast wide receiver for the Ravens. He completely has earned that position to say, hey, I'm your deep threat now. Hollywood Brown is gone, but you know what? I'm Bateman, and let's get this right here. And check this out, Herbert getting sandwiched. Oh my goodness, did someone make some pb and Cause Herbert got completely demolished right there. Second and long, we gotta get this first down. We're not settling for no punt. We're not settling for no field goal. All we have to do is get this first down and we end up connecting once again, man. Our playmakers are making great plays. Offense, we gotta get some going right here. Herbert, come on. We're not losing against the Ravens, even though they're a dominant team in the tight ends, once again, making great plays. And once again, if you guys are enjoying this video, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. Really appreciate it if you made it up to this point. This is definitely one of my better games I brought. I definitely enjoy bringing gameplays like these a lot more than blowouts, because blowouts, I would always say this, they're okay. I mean, they're wins for me. Even if I get blown out, I still show them. But I still feel like games that are tight are definitely something that I feel better off with. And check this out. Scanning the field, looking to my right, looking to my left, Mike Williams. And for those of you guys who do not know, Mike Williams is a former first rounder. So he's making great plays right there. And check out Lamar Jackson. Wait just a minute now. Hasn't made any mistakes all game and he ends up fumbling it. Oh my goodness. That is not good. Ravens flock. We got to stop right here. I'm sorry, Lamar Jackson, he ends up fumbling it. All we have to do is score a field goal, but we're not settling for no field goal. You want to know why? Because we got the Herbinator. And check this out, Austin Eckler ends up getting the first and more. Could he go all the way? No, he could not. But the two-minute warning hits. Okay, let's just, let's just chill out, okay? I was bumping Taylor Swift earlier, which has nothing to do with what I'm trying to even get to. But anyways, right here we end up connecting with, you guessed it. My boy Everett ends up scoring a touchdown. Let's get it, man. Offense just played amazing in the fourth quarter. And yes, believe it or not, I do listen to Taylor Swift. So shout out to Taylor Swift. I freak with her heavy. <laughs> but anyways, defense. All we have to do is get a stop right here. Lamar Jackson snaps it. Wait, what's going to happen? He rolls out Lamar. All we have to do is contain him. Contain Lamar. He ends up throwing it away. And just like that, it's still... Well, it's still a one possession game, right? But just like that, he ends up throwing it away. All we have to do is play smart. Do not play scary, but definitely do not play too loose. But we end up getting the INT. Let's get it. I think that JC Jackson from the Patriots, I might be wrong there, but I do believe the Chargers did acquire him from the trade or via, I don't know, the auction house or something like that, because I do know he was definitely a free agent. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. We ended up getting the W. Really appreciate it if you made it up to this point. Nothing but love, NFL fans. Hopefully your team bounces back. And hopefully my Dolphins do as well.